What's going on guys? Welcome back to Will of DDT. Bia here with my uh, Dofi deck profile update. I just got back from the Peoria Regionals hosted by Top Cut uh, yesterday and you know, fantastic event, very well run. Probably the best in-person uh, event that I've been to. They did a great job making sure everything went smoothly and honestly some of the best players that I've come across. We had nine rounds. It was uh, brutal to say the least but thankfully uh, I was able to top <clears throat> and uh, I did just uh, we already have this deck profile up on the channel from when uh, I competed at Greenville for the 3v3 and was able to top there as well but uh, I have changed it going into yesterday um, got a lot of inspiration from Ernesto over at Awaken TCG he went first place at the core TCG online regional uh, big congratulations to him. Always love to see a fellow Dofi bro doing well. Uh, well done, brother. And uh, thank you for giving me a lot of tips th to try out. That worked out really well this weekend. Um, I don't want to go through the whole deck, but I do want to go through some of the changes that I made and came up uh, pretty significantly to help me really cross the finish line. I switched out the two... Paradise Waterfalls for one of each Union Armada and Hell's Judgment. Each of these were so amazing. I mean, early Union Armada to save Nam uh, swings into Nami so that she can continue to generate some of that value is just great. And then Judgment of Hell against some of those decks that go wider than you, you can effectively stop or negate two swings and really help you go over the edge. There was a, a law matchup that I'll uh, talk about briefly later that just was really slamming me hard. He had five, he saw five of his laws, two restand laws, three blocker laws, and I just needed to make one more turn to be able to go for game and Hell's Judgment topped, stopped two swings that helped me do just that. I swapped out two Usopps and one Brook for a bins i definitely wanted to have brooks still be in the deck there were at least two times yesterday where at eight dawn i luffied into brook into nami into a search which one made me go extremely wide i was able to develop hand advantage and it was just way too oppressive for the opponent and then i swapped in shiki for the gum gum jet gatling this was probably the least impactful change i had he was pretty much only a 1k counter. I never played this card, but again, the 1k counter did come up, so you could say it was impactful. But other than that, the deck pretty much remained the same. The <clears throat> counters are the same. My other ratios were fantastic. Uh, multiple times that I have back to back Dofies yesterday definitely saved me. And, you know, it's just, I, I love this deck. This has been my deck of the format, and I'm just really glad that I'm able to continue to improve and I'm very humbled by being able to play with some uh, against some amazing players to uh, improve my skills and I, and I and I hope to get even better and reach new milestones as I try to be a more competitive one piece player. I did quickly want to go over uh, my matchups for the day. Uh, it was a pretty even spread played against some pretty amazing deck lists. I played two Whitebeard, two Queen, two Laws, two Zoros, and one Katakuri. Uh, finished the day X2. Both of my losses were to Zoros, uh, but honestly, um, huge appreciation for my opponents. Not a single one of them uh, made it easy for me. There was, uh, we had to fight tooth and nail, uh, all great players. <clears throat> the Zoro matchups, I mean, they just, they just drew. I was I was pretty significantly happy with my play. I don't feel like I misplayed anywhere. It's just Zoro itself is a pretty tough matchup when they can, you know, when they see their pieces early on enough and are able to get significant swings early on that I can't block out of and develop my board, then, you know, which is exactly what happened. So uh, it was, uh, I'm not even upset about it. Like those, that was a game that, those were games that I wasn't gonna win anyway. But uh, the Whitebeard match, the Whitebeard matchups, and the Law matchups were fairly standard. Uh, they were doing their shenanigans all when those decks are piloted by extremely competent players. You just have to really try to get in their minds and anticipate those plays and 
be able to make something happen. And thankfully, you know, not to take anything away from those players. I, I was, it was just my day and I was able to take those wins. Um, but again, I do want to thank Top Cut for organizing such a fantastic event and a huge congratulations to uh, the law player. I apologize. I don't know your name for winning the whole thing. Uh, shout out to some of our local players here in you know the Chicagoland area. Jordan getting sixth place. Uh, a lot of my friends uh, over at Sully's Abode doing getting tenth place, and you know still making top sixty four, sharing in that top thirty two spot. Top 60, you know really really proud of the skill level of our community and how it continues to grow and really represent our area. But again, I uh, I'm thankful to you guys for really helping our channel grow and keeping us motivated to do better and it just it's it's fantastic so thank you guys uh, like comment and subscribe and you know we'll see you in the next one take care